Hey everybody, Vice here. Welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Employee of the Month. Last time we finally dealt with Mer Merlin the Wizard, which actually had a problem with the weather control man and his people's weather controlling thingamajig, and he told us to go destroy it, which we ended up doing thanks to him giving us his magic wand to enter said room. And then we were able to finally leave rock bottom. Unfortunately, since the bus driver got tired of SpongeBob and Patrick's nonsense, he tricked them and now we're left here at this diner location. Okay, let's mess with this dartboard. I'm ready. Yippee! Hundred. Yippee! Yippee! Hundred twenty-five. Yippee! Come on. Yeah, I don't know actually what controls Yippee! getting the target. Yippee! 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 Yeah, it always seems like at some point Yippee! you can get the hundred and Yippee! get the hundred and twenty-five, but not the. Yippee! Yippee! But the hundred and fifty likes to be annoying. Oh, come on. Yippee! 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 Yes, I got the 150. I got the perfect score. Nice. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I was about to quit anyway, but got the 150 perfect score. Nice. So, I guess I f finally got it. I don't know if I ever actually did get that before. Interesting zipper noises. Oh no, it's getting late. I hope I still have time to make it to the fun part. Hey, you know, let's talk to Patrick. Well, Patrick, looks like we're just not meant to get to Neptune's paradise. Maybe we should just go home. What? Who are you? What have you done with SpongeBob? What are you talking about, Patrick? The SpongeBob I know is defiant in the face of insurmountable odds. He's what? In the face of what? I don't know. The point is, you shouldn't give up so easy. We're a team and we won't quit, never! You're right, hmm. Patrick. Why should I let these little setbacks get me down? Together, we can accomplish anything! Exactly! And I'll help you think of something as soon as I finish my sandwich. Oh, hey! That reminds me. I saw Sandy working on a rocket last week. Maybe we could use it to get to Neptune's paradise. Maybe. Patrick, how's that grub? Grubby. I guess that's a good thing. You can, you can say, say that, that again. again. I, I, I guess, guess that's, that's a good thing. thing. You can, can say, say that, that again. again. I, I guess, guess that's, that's a good thing. thing. Okay, 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 enough no already. <laughs> That's a great idea. Let's get over there and ask her. I guess that's a good thing. No. What. Let me finish this sandwich and I'll catch up with you. But we're a team. Partners. Deodorant in the face of indisposable odds. Am I right? Pepperoni. Spicy. Spicy. Okay. Well, I'll just meet up with you later then. Uh huh. Oh, oh yeah. Anything you say, SpongeBob. So basically, he's having a pepperoni sandwich, even though it looks like it has everything. Hi. Nice Ooh. place you got here. Yep. I've been here coming up on 25 years. Best grilled cheese in town. You must be old. You're a charmer, aren't you? <laughs> What's the special today? Greasy white thing with a bit of darkish meat on the side. Same as every day. I think I just lost my appetite. Sorry, kiddo. Mm -hmm. You're not responsible for any lost or stolen items around here. Mm -hmm. Say, do you happen to know a land squirrel named Sandy? Know her? I just got off the phone with her. She ordered her usual. Really? <laughs> well, I have to talk to her. You want me to deliver it for you? Ah, that's so sweet. Thank you, fella. She's at Jellyfish Fields. 
She said she needed a recharge and a slab of baby back ribs would do the trick. Blah, Texas food. Well, here's the <laughs> Wow. You be sure to get it to her right quick. I don't want any complaints. You might have a future here. Thank you, ma'am. You don't have anything to worry about. SpongeBob is on the case. She's actually nice enough to offer SpongeBob a job for job here, even though he already has a job with the Krusty Krab. Um, okay. Next area. Look at all these jellyfish. Dun, 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 dun. Stung by any of them. If you get stung by any of them, it just freezes you in place. You don't get forced to go back to the beginning or anything. Case in point. Hiya, Sandy. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm all tuckered out from chasing jellyfish. I wonder where my baby back ribs are. Hey, Sandy, do you still have that rocket parked outside your house? Why, I sure do, SpongeBob. Does it work? What a coinky dinky. I was working on her just the other day. All I need to do is tighten some hoses and check some gauges, and she should be fit to launch. Why? You wanna go for a ride? Actually, I Hi need to get to Neptune's paradise, and I was thinking... Yes? ...that maybe you could give me and Patrick a ride there in your rocket. Why, I'd be tickled to, SpongeBob. I haven't been to Neptune's paradise in ages. Oh, well, I only have two passes, and I already told Patrick he could go. That's okay, partner. I got a pair of passes in the mail the other day. I was gonna throw them out, but luckily I haven't gotten around to it yet. Huh. These Hi passes seem to be pretty easy to come by. So tell you what, as soon as I get my ribs, I'll head back to my house and fix up that rocket to go. Lickety split. You got yourself a deal. Let's go. I gotta go, Sandy. I'll catch you later. No problem, SpongeBob. I'll see you on the flip flop. Okay, here's... Hi -ya! I see I'm IR smart. I swear I picked those up, picked up the ribs, but apparently not. Good job, me. I'm surprised I didn't get zapped there. Baby, Baby back ribs. ribs. Thanks, partner. I'll go get working on Blech. the rocket. Meet me there once you get your water helmet. Give me some real food. Like either the pepperoni sandwich that Plankton or er, Plankton that Patrick is eating, or some kind of pizza or something. Some real food. Anyway, all the houses. SpongeBob's house. Okay, I got the chapter 2 bonus movie. And I didn't get the other one, so, uh... I didn't get the first one, so, uh... Whoops. Oh, right, it's probably one of the other buried treasure spots. That I didn't bother checking. But all the bonus videos are literally just... Behind-the-scenes art stuff, which you can probably find for this game online anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Or there's the chapter three bonus Looks tape. Like some sort of videotape. If I'm guessing correctly, yep. Well, there's a water helmet, but uh. Stop! There's a sea snake in my water helmet. I better find some way to charm him out of there. Accidentally clicked out of the game window there. Uh. Okay, yeah. You don't go to Patrick's house at all. You just go to SpongeBob's house and Squidward's house. Oh, who's that on 
the TV. That is one odd looking chair. We'll check the TV part last. Oh, <laughs> got a picture of Patrick. How sweet. Mm. He's sleeping like a log. There's no way I'm going to be able to wake him up. And we clearly need his clarinet for the snake. Bunny slippers. I wonder where he got those. That's where Squidward keeps his wigs. It's okay. Look at Squidward. He's so photogenic. Look at Look at Squidward. He's sleeping like he's sleeping like a Okay. Now it's the TV. Come on down to Sardine Sundries. This week we got Ew, a whole bunch sardines. of specials that will blow your Not mind, good food either. Man. Really choice stuff. I'm serious. Sniff this. We just got these babies in this week. Dream glasses. Mm. All you need to do is be near a buddy of yours who's sleeping, put on these glasses, and you'll actually enter your buddy's dream. Man, you could really freak him or her out. I mean, like, whoa. And this week only, dream glasses are That free. definitely sounds like something from Earth Earthbound. Right? I'm nuts. Or from the most series in general. Bees. Skull candles. They're just like a regular candle, except they're shaped like a skull. Wowzers. Mm. So come on down to Sardine Sundries, 174 Barnacle Road. We never close because time is an illusion. Dig it. And we were told the location, so let's go there. Yeah, I can smell those cans from here. Oh. Well, then you're not gonna like entering this shop. Those are some really cool sunglasses. I'd get a pair, but I always lose them. So why bother? Mm. Beads, <laughs> random rocks. <laughs> Sonic rings. Oh boy, looking at that shirt is giving me a headache. Ooh, lava lamps. I could watch those things for hours. Skiddly Apparently, a lot of people can. Uh, bowling a ball. Bowling ball? That seems out of place here. What's in place here? That looks a little like Gary's supper dish. That looks a little like Gary's supper dish. That looks a that looks that 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 looks a little like Gary's supper dish. <laughs> Interrupting Gary meowing. That calendar needs to be updated. Who are the Doobie Brothers? Nineteen sixty nine. Nice. Uh, free stuff today only. T a cash register. Looks like it's hardly ever been used. Mm. Hi! This place is weird. Hello there, life traveler. How has your journey been? Okay, I guess. I almost tripped on a rock outside, and the stuff on the walls is making me a little dizzy, but I'm okay. No, no. I mean your journey through life. How has that been treating you? Oh, well, I'm trying to get to Neptune's paradise, and I'm not having much luck so far. In fact, I'm pretty much right back where I started. Your feet might go in circles, but your mind soars with the eagles. Wow, you have a really intense aura. It's yellow. Mm. Want me to read the bumps on your head? No, not really. So what kind of story <laughs> No, is not it? really. We enhance life. We give your brain a car in which it can speed through the highways of the universe music. Sounds dangerous. Don't forget to buckle your seatbelt. Mm. Maybe you can help me. I have a friend who's sleeping like a rock. He won't get up and I need to borrow his clarinet. Got anything that'll do the trick? Sure, man, sure. What you need are dream glasses. Dream glasses? Yeah, put them on when you're near someone who's sleeping and you can see into their dream. But what's even weirder is that they can see you. I don't quite know how they work, actually. Wow, mm. so I could use glasses to get into someone's dream and ask to borrow his clarinet. <laughs> hey, man. Whatever sizzles your whizzle. Say, hey, don't yeah. say that. Uh, but 
I don't have any money. Money? You insult me. We don't even accept money. Th we are here to serve all on the road of life in their quest for happiness or fun parks. Hmm. Well, then how do you stay in business? Trust fund. So you want some dream glasses? <laughs> Go ahead and grab them. I think there's only one pair left. It's at the other end of the store. Thanks. The far out. Skinny I've bop. always wondered, what exactly is a freak out anyway? Well, see, it's like this. Yes? You go to a place where there's a lot of other people. Yes, yes. And then you all start dancing around a big campfire. Yes, yes, yes. And you open your eyes really wide and say stuff like, Men, you don't even have to talk. I can hear you think. Okay. And then you freak out. It's really great. Sounds kind of boring. Uh, I guess you just got to be there. I suppose. <laughs> well, I'm going to go. Yeah, man. Mm, nice talking to you. Anytime, man. I like you. You may be square, but you're no square. Dig? You lay off the um, yeah. Also, him again. Whoa! Whoa! Got the dream glasses. That clock is broken. I don't think anyone has noticed. Mm -hmm. Eggs, hard boiled. I prefer sunny side up, actually. I happen to know that aliens do exist. I saw one once. He had glass over his face and a big tank on his back. Ooh, scary. Mm. Great. Sweaty gym socks. Well, at least they hide the sardine smell. I guess. Whoa. All the colors are making me nauseous, man. <laughs> Who would wear pants like that? Not me. Well, maybe me. <laughs> hey! No, I know I've seen you before! Oh, hello, stranger. Nice to meet you. Stranger. Why are you pretending to have never met me? I just saw you at the bus stop in Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom? No, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I've never even been to Rock Bottom. Huh. I'm pretty sure it was you. You even sound the same. People say I resemble a famous movie star. Perhaps that is what's confusing you. No, I don't think so. Well, I'm sorry, stranger. I just can't help you. What are you doing here anyway? This place sells the best hacky sacks. I need to get one. Yeah, to replace that Kelpsy can you were kicking in rock bottom, right? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Sure. Oh, forget it. Forgotten. Well, <laughs> I have to go. But I've got my eye on you, Buster. Ooh, how will I ever get to sleep again? This guy is really suspicious. Okay, back to the Squidward's house. Glasses just look weird. Eh, speaking of weird. Huh? I look like Squidward, but not completely. This is weird. Squidward must be having a nightmare. You would know. Squidward must be having a nightmare. Some sort of a pyramid. Mm. Wow, that's me, and I look mean. I double clicked, but apparently I didn't register to double click, so now he's just walking slowly wow. and look running. What? People. That was a bit buggy.
Look at music stand. Okay. That's Squidward's music stand. Hey, Squidward. It's me, Squidward. Huh? <laughs> you look kind of like SpongeBob. I kind got of. Here just in time. There's been a mix-up in our dream. Yeah, huh? well, I'm listening. This is the dance recital. Dancing is clearly a left brain activity. The clarinet recital is over at the right brain. Oh, well, I'll just get on over there. No, 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 don't bother. I'm covering right brain tonight. Just give me the clarinet and I'll head over. You stay here and dance. Dance like you've never danced before. Yes, yes, of course, I will dance. I will dance like the wind. Good, knock him dead. If I could just have that clarinet now. Yeah, sure, here it is. Remember to clean the reed. Oh, I don't need to tell you that. Right, great, okay, will do. Later, Squidward. Bye, Squidward. <laughs> great, now I can use this clarinet to get that sea snake out of my water helmet. Wow, I'm glad I'm back to being me. Being Squidward is hard work. Now, for Mercury, I can just do this. Nope. It did not treat the game into. Okay. Now we should be able to. Get the watering helmet, which also gives access to a new location. Oh, Sandy's house. Wow, look at that. That's Sandy's tree. She lives up there. I can't go to Sandy's without my water helmet. There we go. I love visiting Sandy in her tree dome. Now, before we talk to Sandy here, walk behind the picnic table and I we can get found you. oxygen tanks. And that's literally all it is on the screen. Hi there, Sandy. How's it going? Oh, hey there, little square dude. It's going pretty good, except I can't find my oxygen tanks. Why do you need oxygen tanks? Because that's what my rocket runs on, silly. I switched it over to oxygen fuel a few weeks ago. It's cleaner. Maybe I can help you find those tanks. Hey, that'd be great. I've been looking all day. Darn near turned this whole place upside down. I know they're somewhere in my dome. I just don't know where. I'll find them and bring them back. Don't you worry, Sandy. Great. Thanks, SpongeBob. Then we can get going to Neptune's. So yeah, I already got the oxygen tanks, but I, when you talk to her, she leaves the screen and goes over here. I think Sandy made that phone herself. She's very handy. Look at that chair. It rocks. Those lanterns burn for hours straight. Technology, huh? Nah, does that count as technology? Because it's not really electric, because from what I can tell, it's just oil and, and I guess that counts, sort of. Anyway, here's some oxygen tanks. Sandy, I found the oxygen tanks. Woo-wee! I knew you could do it, my little wrangler. Now let's get our rears in gear and hop along to Neptune's Paradise. Hey, SpongeBob, what you doing? Of course, he set a record for the most sandwiches I've ever eaten. Well, the rocket finishes fueling up. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to end well. Okay, cowboys. Safety belts. Check. Time to put on your safety belts. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> safety belt secure. Yeah, Patrick didn't look like he had a safety belt at all. Oh yeah, this. And this gauge shows how deep we are. Are we there yet? And these switches here 
It's gone. <laughs> Smash right through that. Are we there yet? <laughs> oh, I don't feel too good. I told you not to eat all that junk food earlier today. And he's out. I gotta go find the bathroom. Yeah. Chapter four. Bottoms up. So yeah, now we're stranded in this random location of Landom area. The coral sure is pretty here in bottoms up. The coral sure is pretty here in Bottoms Up. Huh, even the seaweed here is high class. Anyway, anyway, now that we're starting to hear, this is a good place to end it off. Just a little bit, just a couple minutes longer, but... Yeah, we were able to get through an entire chapter in one part, basically. Anyway, this has been Vise, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.